Hey, hello, welcome. I have gone on to Zavi and ordered a bunch of shit I do not need, but here we are. Uh, so I thought it would be fun to maybe film a haul for you guys. Get into it. So this is the box. It actually came in separate boxes and I just collected it all in the biggest box that they gave me so let's just get into it I guess the first thing I want to show you is actually the thing I'm most excited about it is the Nightmare Before Christmas LP double LP actually I'm gonna open this up real quick because I have not seen the inside yet and I'm pretty curious so I love the Nightmare Before Christmas just the designs and everything the music it's so cool like look at this isn't this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen so on disc 1 it has 11 songs and on disc 2 it has 9 songs. It has everything from This Is Halloween, Sally's Song, Kidnap the Sandy Claus, it has everything. So I'm gonna open it up. Ta-da! It has all the songs. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to take one out. Ooh. It's actually, oh, there's a fuzz on here. It's a bright orange one. And Jack is in the middle. And um, he's purple and silver. It's pretty cool. This is my second colored LP. I'm, I am actually getting a small collection. I'm around 10 now, and I used to have zero, so small collection. This is the back side, just, just a bit on the same uh, theme. So I'll just set that off to the side. The cat is right over there and it's eating, so I don't know if the mic picks up on that or not. But if you hear it, that's the cat. So this is our baby girl. She's nine months old. We have had her since November. Next item, Monopoly. It is The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. This was more than half off, so I'm pretty excited about that. And if you open it up, it actually has the board like you're used to it but every property you can buy is actually a person you have Elrond, the Goblin King, Dwalin, Dory, Gloin, you have everybody and then you have the Riddle Game and Dwarf's Treasure Chest so those are the two stacks of cards to play with so these are the cards this is for instance, Dwarf's treasure chest. And this is the property of Radagast the Brown. The money is pretty much the same too. I'm gonna keep it in a plastic for a bit longer, I think. Until we actually play it. It could be that that is after, uh, after that we move, but yeah, sure. This is the money, it's pretty similar. Just Monopoly money. The houses are black and gold. That is pretty cool. Not the weird red and green ones. These, the ponds, actually come in like hobbit themed shapes. And they come with a bag. It's a bag in a bag that, that doesn't need any plastic around it. That's just stupid. But yeah, we live in a plastic world. That's my first actual Monopoly game that I own. We have an old one back home, but uh, it's my parents' one. But this is actually mine. Um, me and my boyfriend are really big on board games, and we're starting kind of a collection, so maybe when I move and we have a few more games, I can actually show you guys my collection. Okay, 
stay in the same theme, I guess. I have bought, you're gonna judge me, I don't have these. I have bought all three of the Lord of the Rings DVDs. I didn't have these, I wanted these for a very long time. I do have the Hobbit ones, but I'm quite dedicated to collecting DVDs too, so I could do a collection video about that too, but that is all gonna be after we move, because right now all my collecting things, like board games and my LPs and my DVDs are all packed up like in boxes and here and there in cupboards, so I could do a collecting collection video from everything uh, once we move, so that could be fun, right? So I have three more small items. Let's just get into it, I guess. First thing, uh -huh. it's this game on lamp in an acrylic case, and it's a green backlight. It's apparently available in more colors and sizes. Gonna take it out. This is a, just give me a second. This is well packaged, very well packaged. Three batteries. Okay, it's already on. So this is the lamp. Look at this lamp. And it's kind of lit at the back too. But I actually bought this because we have purchased a monthly subscription to the Z Box from Zavi too. And we're kind of getting into like subscription boxes type of things. And I thought this lamp would be really cool to like put around like our little collection because we only opened one box. We don't have a lot right now, but I think it would be really cool. We're planning on putting this around like where my boyfriend has the computer too. Like maybe in his game room we can have like the cupboard of like geeky collection. That would be fun. I'll just Put it in the back here. Ta da! Two more things. So, this is a hot cookie. It actually connects to Mac and PC USB ports. So, when my laptop gets back from the reparation shop, I get to try this one out because I don't think it will work with my old laptop because my old laptop is an idiot. So, this actually keeps your drink up to 60 degrees no matter how long you're working or how absorbing that computer game is refreshments always at hand and I'm a horrible person actually when I make tea I forget about tea and I thought I would purchase this and I would connect it to my laptop and my tea would stay warm this is the hot cookie this is not gonna fit my like my biggest mugs. I have like mugs that are about the same size as my head. But yeah, just a regular teacup, coffee cup. This is this is really cool actually. I'm pretty excited to try this one out. But as I said, I'm gonna wait until I have my other laptop bag, which could be very soon. We have one more item. And it's also kind of a collection item type of thing that I thought would be fun to have in our cupboard later on when we move. It is a piggy bank. A Harry Potter piggy, piggy bank. It's a savings bank, piggy bank, whatever. I'm gonna take this sticker off. So it's a Hogwarts crest. You can put the money here up top and you open it up like this. So I thought it would be fun because I sometimes sell things on Facebook marketplace like clothes I don't wear and things and I thought it would be fun to put the extra money that I saved on that in here and when we have a decent amount we can buy something fun or go do something fun together so I thought that would be really cool and sometimes put just random change in here so we can save up for some extra little fun things. That was the last thing I bought from the Zavi website. I am actually pretty excited about all of these. Can't wait to put it all in its rightful place. So as I said, once we move, I'm gonna show you like my board game collection, my LPs, my DVDs, like whatever I feel like doing. But for now, it's uh, it's gonna be until next time. Bye.